the house of Virgo. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Allow the air to nourish you and fill you up. And when you release it, let go of anything heavy and no longer useful. How was that? Feel better? This is a tool as old as time. A simple, easy to do thing that most people agree is good for them. And yet, how often do you really pay enough attention to your body and emotions to notice that it would be good for you to do that? And if you do think about how good it would feel, how often do you actually follow through? This transit into the house of Virgo speaks to this tendency that we have to assess our state of being as good enough and to brush over minor discomforts and irritations. We usually do so under the pretense that it's part of the process and that it's what it takes to get things done. However, as we move into the third quarter of the year, we realize that the currents show no signs of slowing down. The world is still undergoing transformation and we're still having to adapt to the new all the time. So we're left with a choice. We can either grin and bear it and hold out until the day is over, or we can pay attention to the little signs and readjust our trajectory as we go. Rather than falling into the mindset that growth comes with its own necessary growing pains, this transit is here to bring them to your attention and give you the opportunity to see them as indicators. The House of Virgo urges you to pay attention to those little signals in your body and in your emotional landscape and take them seriously. Not as signs that you've done something wrong, that life is against you, or that you need healing and clearing, but simply as an indication that a more luxurious and joyful option is available. It is because something better is available that you're noticing what doesn't work. The little discomforts are showing you that new and better options are there and putting up with the old just won't satisfy you. Taking a moment to pause and reflect creates the room for that fresh perspective to emerge and to highlight the more pleasant and streamlined direction. This is the invitation of Virgo, to pause and be on the lookout for signs that a more uplifting window has opened up. Following the powerful passage through the house of Leo, Virgo is here to remind you that the lion, although brave and powerful, does not exert himself at his task. Whatever boldness and courage you might have exhibited in the previous weeks, Virgo's advice is what will keep the wind in your sails. Stopping to notice the small disturbances in your flow will enable you to continue savoring all the benefits of your time in the house of Leo and enhance your level of joy through the day. Who doesn't want a bit more satisfaction in their life? <laughs>